Hey what's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video we will we'll see our aggregation transformation control in Dataflow and these functions are used to do a list of needed activities like sum or to calculate average of, of a column or to get a output group by some column name so let us see how it is done all right so drag and drop this data flow task just double click on this select the source so we have oledb source then we need this aggregate and finally we need destination so our destination is a flat file all right now let us configure this so OLE DB connection manager so this is our server name and it is the database select the table so our table is shop so let me show you what is there inside this table so we have these six columns and four rows and we are going to perform aggregation on these columns All right now the output will go to this aggregate now inside this aggregate we have we can perform um, couple of operations so first of all let us sum all the column values sum will be performed on this discounted price column so let us perform sum all right and then it will go to this flat file let us configure this all right now it will ask for the location location of the file let us keep it on desktop So we are all set. Now let us execute this. So it is it has succeeded. Let us see what is there in our file. So first of all, let us see what the sum will be. So it will be 240 plus 5290 plus 150. So it will come out to be 440, I guess. yes so it is 440 now let us perform average on this okay so we have seen how it is doing for sum now let us do the same thing for average now instead of sum put average all right now let us execute this so it has succeeded again reloaded so sum is 110 440 by 4 all right now let us perform some other operation now let us perform this maximum all right so it will select the maximum of all the rows let us execute this so it has succeeded what it should come it should come out to be 150 all right so there it is let us do it for minimum let us execute this so it has succeeded so minimum is 50 all right now let us perform some another operation now this time let us see what this grouped by does okay so we can remove this and we can use product name and we will use this grouped by operation so it will select the unique names 
so there are two apples so it should take only one apple from this all right let us see there is some error there are some mapping errors so we need to check oh yes okay so we need to remove this all right okay now let us see the mapping input is this output is this all right now let us execute this oh it has succeeded so you can see it has group all the all the values by the name all right so it is in descending order let, let us perform some other operation now let us count the product names all right let us execute this So it has succeeded. So there are four rows. So it has given the output as four. Now let us perform final operation which we are going to see, which is count distinct. Alright. Now the output output should be three because the two names are same. There we go. Alright, let us see if there are some other operations which are remaining. I guess we are we have seen pre operation but still yes we have seen every operation. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys and if you got something from this video do click on the like button, share this video, do subscribe and comment if you want. Thank you.